Hey, 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 welcome back. It's a beautiful Saturday morning in Mulahe. We've been here for just over a week and we got into some routines, some work routines for us and some exercise and some eating routines. And today we're gonna be tourists. Yeah, I'm excited. We're gonna go uh, check out some of our favorite places to eat in town and also go to the mission. Maybe check out a little bit of the river and uh, maybe check out another place, we'll see. Mulahe is a small town. It's not on most people's destination list, so it's not like we've got a hundred things to do in Mulahe, uh, which is why we like it. We like it because it's very relaxed, very chill. Got a beautiful camp set up for us. We can ride our bikes about five minutes to get into town, and then in the opposite direction, we're about ten minutes on a bike ride to get out to the lighthouse, which is amazing for sunset. And oh my gosh, the sunsets here are incredible. Yeah, I'll have to show you one. And it's also we've had great fishing. Yeah, so. we'll probably take you out fishing this, <laughs> yeah. this evening. <laughs> Haven't had hobbies in a while, and fishing's always been something we've loved. And so it's been nice to go out and we caught fish two nights ago. Caught fish last night, so maybe we'll catch some fish tonight too. But before we do that, we're going to go get on our bikes and go ride into town. I think first stop, we're going to get some... Uh, Pastries. And then second stop is going to be... We're going to get carnitas. Carnitas. And then who knows. So I'm going to stop talking about the future. Let's go make it happen. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go turn it in tacos. We just biked up to the mission in Mulahe and we are going to eat our lunch here. Sorry. Whole radish. Yeah. Even plastic, so we can mm -hmm. pull it back. That's why I kind of did it like that. Oh, it's hot. <laughs> oh, these little gnats. First bite, let's see how it is. Mm. So good. This 
So the mission here is Franciscan. It was first discovered, the area was first discovered by Westerners in the early 1700s, and it was constructed in the mid-1700s, so it's over 250 years old. Really cool architecture. Not sure what's original and what's been uh, fixed over time, but you can look and see the doors and the windows and the stone pavers and the actual stone in the walls. And the grout is just, it's stunning to be around knowing the history that this has been here for that long. And then it's the center point of this town of Mulehe, which is still just a tiny little village in the Baja Peninsula. Just finished touring the mission and now we are going to ride our bikes into town. We're going to cross over the dam right here that uh, goes across the river and then go right back into town. So Mulahe is a name that comes from the native people um, and it's named after the a sandbar at the mouth of the river and that's exactly where Mulahe is. It's along this river, goes right out into the sea and it also goes by Eroica Mulahe. That's the official name that came from the Mexican-American War where all the townspeople joined up in the fight against the Americans and actually uh, pushed back the American Navy and so they're still remembered as being the heroics. And so this is Eroica Mulahe. And this is the archway to, to go into the city, to go into the town. Magos has delicious pastries. Everything is under 40 pesos. Most of the pastries here are under 20 pesos, which means that they are less than a dollar US. Pretty amazing deal. All cooked fresh. Yeah, all cooked fresh right here. A very kind gentleman at Magos just gave us directions on how to get to the jail that's here in Mulahe. It's actually now a museum. So we're gonna go check that out. Well, we came at the wrong time. That's what we get for being tourists on a Saturday and right around lunchtime. Well, who knows what time it is for lunch in Mexico. It's one o'clock. They could have gone to lunch at 11 and they could stay at lunch till three. Who knows? In any regard, we're here. This is the uh, museum that's for the prison. And the prison was actually known for having open doors. Really cool concept. So oh, it's taken a long time to get the road system in Baja. And for a long time, it was pretty much, Mulahe was pretty much inaccessible. So there was a prison here for prisoners who could be trusted. Um, so like kind of like a minimum security place. But every day the prisoners would leave, they would walk out the front doors, they would go work in the fields or work as fishermen. And then at six o'clock, the jailer would blow a conch horn and call them all back. And sure enough, everybody came back. And apparently everybody was treating them, criminals, uh, the prisoners were treated like they were townspeople for the most part. Um, they interacted with the town. They were trusted as much as they could be trusted. 
and a really cool concept just the idea that this prison here on the top of the hill overlooks the town it's beautiful and they could be you know um, active participants in the community even though they were in fact incarcerated who's happy yeah, who's happy puppy who's happy he's a happy puppy yeah he's a happy puppy <laughs> Go jump on daddy. Okay, jump on mommy now. Okay, now go jump on daddy. <laughs> uh, we are back for a little while. We're gonna eat a little bit. Of, I'm gonna eat a little bit of that snack. Tacos didn't fill me up. And uh, we'll take a little siesta and hopefully the wind will calm down. There's wind coming off the sea right now. So uh, I'm not sure if it's gonna calm down by sunset, but we'll probably still head out to the lighthouse anyway. Yeah, because the dogs need a good run. Whether we have fishing poles or not. Run or walk. Yep. So. All right, so we'll check back in with you soon. Let's go fishing.